How's it going everybody? Martin with Bellevue Auto Spa. Back with another video for everybody and if you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it and it makes it so I can continue to make great videos like this for you all. So this video is going to be about the various paint protection products from New Finish. Now New Finish is a very old school brand. They have been around long since before my time on this planet. Um, and maybe many of you watching. And if you were around to remember when New Finish first came out, leave a comment below if you remember the pictures or the, not the pictures, well probably pictures in the magazines, commercials on TV about New Finish, leave a comment below. Anyways, uh, New Finish came out in, I'm gonna say, I don't know, the 1960s, 1970s. This stuff's been around forever. Here are the original products right here. Now, they are no longer owned by the same company. Uh, they are now owned by the Energizer brand, which, yes, that is the battery company. Um, but Energizer brand claims that they have kept the original formulation the same, and they've come out with a couple new ones as well. Now, in Scott HD, he's got some inconsistent testing on his channel between various products. Um, I'm just going to say that probably just boils down to various batches, because um, my uh, success with these has been different. These have been great performers. So, again, this stuff's old school, but it's still very durable, very easy to apply. This stuff is newer, it is more durable, and still easy to apply. And I'm going to go over them one by one here. Now, it says polish on it. Um, they mean polish in the way that, like, polish makes things shiny. This isn't an abrasive polish, so for those of you who think this might, like, you know, remove scratches and stuff, it doesn't do that. There's no abrasives in it. It just makes the car shiny. That's what they mean by polish. So we've got the paste version here. Um, this goes for about $10. You can find it in a lot of stores. And as you can see, it's like a really creamy gel. It's got some uh, <laughs> liquid floating around in there. Um, very strong chemical odor, not very pleasant. Um, but this is if you like to apply it by hand, you know, uh, wax on, wax off with a paste, then that is for you. It is pretty easy to apply, pretty easy to wipe off, very slick. And then we've got the liquid version. This is probably what most people remember. And this comes in tins as well, I think, if you buy the smaller container. Um, but we've got the liquid version here. You can see... See the liquid in there, kind of. Anyways, you get the point. It's a white liquid. Um, and this is, you know, just more liquidy if you want to just pour it onto your applicator or towel. Wipe it on, wipe it off. Pretty easy to use. Now we got the new versions, or the newer products. Now we got the uh, ceramic coating version. Now this is the uh, water-based ceramic spray. It's got a very strong alcohol scent. Um, this is a little bit grabby when wiping off. Now, you basically spray it on, they say let it sit, and then wipe it off. Um, so this, this one's not very sunlight friendly. You can do it in the sun, but it's gonna make your life a little bit harder. Uh, but it does protect very well. And this goes for about 20 bucks. Uh, give or take a few dollars um, but it, you know it's a pretty good product also has a strong chemical odor not a pleasant smell so again this one goes for ten dollars as well I didn't mention but, excuse me. Ugh, I just sneezed there okay then we got the new finished graphene now for those of you unfamiliar with graphene graphene oxide it's the latest additive bu buzzword to add into paint paint protection um, pretty much everything that's graphene is ceramic based with a graphene additive in it. You can kind of see the graphene collecting around the ring there. Uh, graphene is a black powder. Now this is uh, more of a thick liquid. It is still sprayable. And this actually smells really good. I, I love the way this one smells. And somebody did comment on a video saying who cares about how the product smells because you're not smelling it once it's on the car. Yeah, that's true, but it's more about the user experience. Some people prefer something smells nice as they apply it. Um, but this stuff is very easy on, very easy on. You, you spray it on, spray it off. Now, these all say no cure time. I have found these to perform better if you let them cure for at least a day. And by cure for a day, I mean just don't get it wet, don't wash it. Um, but they will still perform even immediately after. Uh, but I find when you do these torture tests, which we're about to do, if you let any product sit for at least a day, it makes sure that any of like, the carrier solvents or you know carrier material that's in there evaporates away so this is cured on the surface harder to remove um but yeah that's it for for the products now let's get over to the chemicals we're going to be torture testing with all right so here's our torture test chemicals so uh for the initial wash and in between each round we'll be using turtle wax slick and slide pure wash this is a ph neutral 
car shampoo. It's very gentle, uh, strong enough to clean, but it shouldn't affect any decent protection. Uh, first chemical we use is, uh, this is Superior Images Wheel X uh, Brake Dust and Iron Remover and Wheel Cleaner. This is an iron remover, close to pH neutral iron remover with a wheel cleaner additive in it. Uh, but this isn't a very harsh chemical unless you are a ferrous metal. Then we will be using Chemical Guys Nonsense. Uh, pH neutral purpose cleaner at a 5 to 1 dilution. This is pretty strong um, but safe all purpose cleaner that doesn't have any odor to it, which is nice. Then I'll be using 3D Super Degreaser at their strongest dilution ratio. Now, because it comes from the Nano Pail, their strongest dilution ratio is 45 to 1. Um, that may not sound like a lot, but 3D's Nano Pails are insanely concentrated. This is their strongest degreaser product in them. Uh, then we'll be using Meguiar's non-acid wheel and tire cleaner. So this is an alkaline wheel and tire cleaner, a little bit stronger than your standard degreaser because it's made to clean rubber as well um, and brake dust. This is at a one-to-one -one dilution ratio. And then we will use Meguiar's wheel brightener. This is an acid wheel cleaner. Um, this is at a three-to-one dilution ratio. This is a very, very powerful, very harsh chemical. Um, definitely don't want to get that on your skin. And then... Over here, but here it is. Carpro Tarex. This is uh, not a water based product. This is a solvent based tar and adhesive remover. This stuff is really strong. I don't know the pH level of it, but it is a really, really strong solvent. Um, and it pretty much, almost every product I use this on, it kills the hydrophobics with the exception of ceramic coatings. So, that out of the way, let's go over to the panel and see how it looks. All right, so here's the test panel. You can see they all do a really good job at darkening up the paint because I left compound hazing in there intentionally. Um, but there's the paste wax, liquid wax, ceramic, and graphene. Now, as far as slickness goes, guys, the liquid, the liquid wax is the slickest feeling. And then I'll give second place to ceramic, and then paste wax is pretty close. Last place is the graphene. Graphene is not very slick. It is pretty grabby. Um, but it, it does tend to have the best water behavior. Um, but again, easiest to apply is gonna, graphene is gonna be easiest to apply, followed by liquid, followed by ceramic and paste. Not that any of them are hard to apply, but you can see the paste left a lot of uh, streaking behind. It's hard to clean up. The soap will get that. Um, but the other three did pretty good at just easily cleaning up. Ceramic's just a little bit grabby, but the liquid and the graphene just, they wipe off almost effortlessly. Let's get this test started. All right, my hand that's gonna be handling the chemicals is gloved, so you don't gotta worry too much about it. I've got the garage door cracked, the fan on to overpressurize to push all the chemicals that are suspended in the air out. So we're good as far as that goes. Let's first test the water behavior. So we'll see that the paste, the paste floods easily, but it does repel the water. Uh, the liquid, the liquid does it a little bit faster, about the same. Ceramic, ceramic's flooding as well. The graphene is pretty much impossible to flood, like it just repels the water almost instantly. When we check out the beading, they all bead water pretty well. Again, the graphene's gonna do the best. Uh, the ceramic paste and liquid are all about the same. I give the edge of the ceramic a little bit. I don't know if you missed it on, you can really see the beading and how long the beads fall there before they fall off. Near the graphene, it barely even gets a chance to really build the beads up. Alright, so let's go ahead and wash it. Let's see how it does after the first wash. All the protected areas doing okay after the first wash. And you can see how the water pools up where there's no protection, like where the tape lines were and on the outside. So it gives you a good indication. So we will start with our iron remover, iron removing the cleaner. Stuff does stink, so keep that in mind. 
Oh, I remember it's, they smell not great. You can see how it repels the chemical. Um, the, the graphene and the ceramic are repelling it more. The liquid, the paste, not so much. Uh, they are still to a degree, um, but be, nothing like these two. Rinse it off. And the reason I wash it, guys, is because it looks like they might have taken a hit. But watch how the behavior changes after you wash it. Because there's usually still residue on the surface. And you can see how the liquid and the paste have slowed down a little bit, but not much. Ceramic is pretty unfazed and the graphene is just basically untouched. Graphene is pretty impressive, honestly. They're going to get very impressive. So next we'll do a pH neutral all-purpose cleaner. Tell you guys nonsense, a 5 to 1 dilution. We're doing pretty good. See if we reject that, let's we'll wash it. The graphene is still performing amazing. Ceramic will go like slow down a little bit. Liquid and paste doing about the same. Hasn't been much change from them, but they weren't you know super strong performers from the get go. So I'm gonna bump it up to 3D super degrees or 45 to 1 dilution ratio is the strongest. Again, this is from their highly concentrated nano pails. And if you don't know, their nano pails come in uh, 64 ounce containers, so a half a gallon. That half a gallon of chemical is equivalent to your average five gallons of chemical. So for example, they have 3D Grand Blast or Grand Slam degreaser. Five gallons of that is equivalent to 64 ounces of their super degreaser. So we can travel lightly, same amount of chemical, and it costs you less money too. It's, it's pretty impressive stuff. 3D Nano Pills, check out my video on them. Still see the graphene and the ceramic pushing the chemical off.
So the paste seems to be doing better than the liquid right now. Ceramic's still doing about the same as it's been. Graphene's still pretty much untouched. Impressive, very impressive. So then we'll go to Meguiar's non-acid wheel and tire cleaner. The one to one dilution ratio. Still, I can see the graphene ceramic fighting it off. Graphene still, like, it's just, <laughs> you can't touch the graphene. Ceramic is uh, broken down, but still pushing the water off. It's not really beating anymore. Um, the liquid is flooding easily, and then uh, moderately sheeting off, and then the paste, the paste is still fast sheeting. So the paste and the graphene really have been the same the whole time. Ceramic and the liquid are kind of slowing down. Next is uh, Meguiar's Wheel Brightener Acid Wheel Cleaner. Three to one dilution ratio. Let me give that a second to kind of dissipate out so I don't go over and inhale it. <clears throat> yeah, this stuff is pretty strong. I've never used an acid wheel cleaner before. Make sure you read the instructions well. Pretty effective, pretty strong stuff. as always just doesn't care. As you see, the graphene is still unfazed. Ceramic is still, you know, not so great, but it's still doing all right. Liquid, liquid slowly sheeting now. The taste, taste is mine. The taste is still, I'd say it's like a, a fast to moderate sheet, right? So, not bad. All right, now, finally ended all. Carpro Tarx. Now this always ruins my sprayers, regardless if I rinse them out, because this is solvent based, but water doesn't really do much for it when I try to rinse water through it. So I'm going to supply it to this towel. Tap back on so I can kick it over. And wipe it in.
All right, and the high side of the Tarx isn't water soluble. It makes the water behavior look really weird until you wash it off with soap. So. Makes everything look better than it really is. Now watch after we wash it how everything's gonna change. I definitely heard things more now. If you watched my last test on this, the Car X really impacted the graphene. That's because in my last test I didn't give it a 24 hour cure because it said instant curing. I gave it a 24 hour, oh it's been like three days actually, but I gave it plenty of time to cure. And you see how much better it's performing. Well, as you can see, everything made it through the test. The graphene, the graphene definitely took a hit, but it's still doing really good. The ceramic, ceramic's doing all right. Took a little bit more of a hit. It's still getting water away quickly. Uh, the liquid is uh, really slow, and the paste is kind of moderate. But they all survived the test. I know some YouTube channels will say when they see it like this, it's dead. It's not dead. It's still sheeting the water away. Just look at over here. See how the water just sticks there? It is kind of slowly falling, but it's not really repelling it away. It's kind of just falling down. Um, but if I had this on a horizontal surface, you can see over here especially, uh, it just kind of sticks there. So Let's see how it is when we flood it. See, we can flood the graphene now, barely. It still repels the water away quickly. A ceramic we can flood, but it's pretty quick to repel the water. Liquid, no, I mean, no surprise, you can flood it, but it pushes all the water away. Slowly, but surely. And the paste, the paste is a little bit better. So, um, as far as my rankings go, graphene's first place, ceramics in second place, paste is third place, and liquid is fourth place. So, if you like the original, um, the original formulas, um, if you're willing to put in a little bit of extra effort, the paste is going to do better. If you like the newer formulas, I'd say skip the ceramic and go straight to the graphene because the graphene is easier to do. But liquid and ceramic were the slickest, uh, especially the liquid had the most slickness, ceramic uh, following it after. Graphene had the worst slickness, but it's got the best performance. So, uh, you know, however those metrics matter to you, you know, take it with a grain of salt and make your make decision based off that. Let's go into the final thoughts. All right, so the rankings, we can go as so. This performed the best, second best, third best, fourth best. Um, but again, as far as slickness goes, this one's the slickest. This is the second slickest, closely followed by this. This has almost no slickness, so uh, however that matters to you. And then for ease of application, easiest, second easiest, third easiest, hardest. So make your decision based off that. Um, this is also the most costly, but um, if it were, you know, if I were to buy one of these, I'd obviously, I'd be going for the protection more than anything. And then you could always top it with a detail spray or something if you want that slickness. Um, or you can even top it with another product, guys. I mean, however you want to do it. But the stuff performed pretty well. Very happy with it. Um, new Finish made a great product. And they've always made good products. Their products have never been bad. They just, been, they just didn't make anything new for a long time as far as paint protection goes. So that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I wanted to compare these all together one by one. Um, I'm planning on doing others next. I'll probably do Meguiar's Ultimate with their paste wax, liquid wax, and spray wax. Uh, might do Gold Class, might do Mothers. Uh, let me know what, what you guys want to see though. Um, and make sure to check out my, my catalog of videos. A lot of people are suggesting things have already done, so definitely check those out and watch those. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below with your thoughts. Um, let me know if you ever tried New Finish before, if you were alive when this stuff used to be advertised. 
Um, give the video a like if you enjoyed it. I definitely appreciate that. And subscribe if you haven't already. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep them clean. Have a good one.